You ready? Yes. All right. Uh, hi, welcome back to the Other Achievers podcast, episode eight. Episode eight. We're almost to ten, man. Jesus Christ! Double it, digits. It's weird I because. Do you think we'll ever make it to triple? Uh, maybe. maybe. Maybe it just depends. I'd love to. I'd love to keep going, but um, Hell yeah. It's weird because I want to say I feel like we should be at ten at this point. It's just because we took a big break. Yeah, but I also am like really proud of the fact we've done eight. Cause it's mm-hmm. like, oh my god, there's really like. Because that's like, what, four and a half, five hours of just us yeah. talking about we'll kept with it. bullshit. This is the longest we've kept up with a YouTube thing. Yeah, but like at the same time, I'm like, man, we should be at like 10. Yeah. Because we started, what, September, October? Or was it no? I think it was October when we started recording. I think our channel went up in November. I think it was like November 1st or something. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But like we started recording and stuff like mid-October. Yeah. But here we are, episode eight, back for another episode. The Other Achievers. Yup. <laughs> yep. Um. First thing I want to get out of the way is we are going to play more games. I know it seems like it's just Mega Man yes, right now. Yes. Oh, my God. We're yeah. just trying to think of games. If you have any games you want to see, throw them in the comments, and maybe we can get them on uh, episode, or we can play them on stream when we finally get that rolling. Yeah, we have not, as of when you're listening to this, stream. we might have streamed by the time this goes up. When, when is this going up? This would be this next, next Wednesday. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But as of now, we have not streamed. But I'm, I'm looking forward to doing yeah, that. Yeah. Maybe we've streamed. Maybe you watched. Maybe you didn't. If you didn't, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame Should on have been you. there. It was a lot of fun. Jared said some things he shouldn't have. He, he forgot <laughs> that um, we can't go back and delete. He has trouble with that. <laughs> Made sure I'm like, okay, we got to remember to delete that. And you're just sitting there like mouth open, like, oh my god, he actually said it. <laughs> Hey, Jared, look at this dude. What a blah, blah, blah. How's it going, bro? <laughs> wow. Do you remember? Oh, actually, no, I can't tell that story. Never mind. There's not, like, a bad word said in it. It was uh, back on our old, old podcast. There's a little sound clip of Harrison oh, saying no. something. He does not say anything bad, but it's kind of muffled, and mm-hmm. it sounds just like he says something he shouldn't. Should, should I say what I, I was saying? Oh yeah, yeah. You okay. Can go for it. So at the time, I I, I liked the Simpsons. So at the right when we were recording, it was right when I started getting really into the Simpsons. And um, if you know old Flanders, the neighbor, he's got a saying. Uh, it's like what is it? Heidi ho, neighbors. Yes. <laughs> and um, it, it didn't sound like it when I said it as he the was, intro for the he podcast. Was, he was very <laughs> leaned back and it was very mumbled, mumbled. and. Yeah. Going back, I don't think that episode ever came out, because this was back on Outer Room. Um, but I just remember listening to it and being like, Oh my god. Harrison! <laughs> and he's like, I said neighbors! I swear to god, those neighbors. <laughs> but I mean, it sounds just like something you shouldn't that say. I, no one should say. Ever. 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 Um, I don't think we've had many questions show up for the ne- for episode 10. So I wanted to go ahead and say that... Uh, Oh yeah, put some questions in the comments. Every time you bring up the questions, I go pick my phone up to like check the last episode. Then you say ten, and I'm like, we're doing. We got time. We got time. Man, my chair is falling apart. I just realized I'm pulling out some like plastic piece. Yeah, it's like the lining of it. Well, that came out. (laughs) Holy shit! I guess it broke at some point. All right. Well, (laughs) anyways, Harrison, what you been up to this week? Uh, nothing much. Just getting through school. I did have a nice little dinner tonight. Oh my gosh. Yes, you were very excited about oh this. Oh my god. You, kept, you okay. kept bringing it up. So like last year, or back at the start of the summer, I can't remember which one it was, but uh, Olive Garden had, um, it was like, you know how they'll have the all you can eat, or the unlimited pasta thing. Yes. Well, they had unlimited stuffed pasta. So it was like different stuff. What it, what it, is it like a ravioli? Like a stuffed ravioli? Well, the one or? I got was, um, you know the ziti? Yes. Uh, it's that, but it's stuffed and fried. Oh. Yeah. And Ooh. so um, I got that, and um, it was the best thing I've ever ate in my entire life, probably. <laughs> I was like crying while I ate it. And then um, I got a box of leftovers and brought them home, and um, I was just drunk off my ass and I can I was just eating them with my hands because like the way they're shaped when yeah. they're frozen like you can just pick them up because like they're not like soupy are cheese. they kind of like 
Like that's like half yeah, a yeah. Twinkie kind of sh- looking. I'll show you. No, they're not that that big. Okay. But um, like like a like a mozzarella stick kind of. Yeah, like a small mozzarella stick. They really like as weird as it is. They really look like a small like spring. You know, like the Chinese spring rolls. Yeah, they look just yeah, yeah. like those. But okay. Whew, God. Okay. So they don't have them at Olive Garden normally. But and then I got an email this weekend and it's back. It's so I've been waiting all week. <laughs> why are you on today? Why are you on Olive Garden's oh, email? Yeah, I, chain? Have, I have the but I am definitely on there. I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean obviously this is why. Yeah, but. there's a bunch of restaurants. I'm just on their email chain and I don't remember when, but it's just a thing now. Was it as good as you remembered? Oh yeah. So, like, I get the first bowl, and then um, the unlimited pasta, they always have the regular size first bowl, and then when you get the second bowl, it's, like, a tiny little thing. Yeah. So, I was like, oh, yeah, we going in. So, I, I killed the first bowl, and I was doing fine. Second bowl comes out. I get about halfway through it, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> the train has slowed down and stopped at the same time. It literally just it all hit. It is slammed on the brakes. So, I was like, I want to bring it home, but like, this is such a big event. That I have to have a full bowl. Yeah. For my leftovers. Sweet. So I was like, I have to power through this because they're not going to give me a full bowl to take home unless right. this is done. Yeah, I was about to ask, how do they do taking home like all you can? <laughs> I eat? mean, used they used to say no, you can't do that. You can't even take it home. Well, I mean, the waitress would be like, eat a bite of it, and I'll put it in a box. Oh, okay. But um, now I'm just like, can I get the next bowl and just bring it out in the to go box? Yeah. But um, so I had to power through the last half of the bowl. <laughs> And was like crying almost. Like it was so just, oh. But you were like, I need that full bowl yeah, of leftovers. I had to get the full bowl. It's down there in the fridge now. I'm excited. I hate we're not drinking anytime soon. It's so good when you're drunk. Hey, you want to savor that. Oh, yeah. You want to enjoy it. And sometimes things are just like, you, you just sloppily like munch it. True. True. I know what you mean. But yeah, I, I got back here just collapse for like 30 40 minutes went into a big zd coma oh my god like literally my stomach was like I, oh god. like you know when you put your belly out yeah it was like that but i wasn't doing it on purpose something about pasta i just I cannot so eat so full i cannot eat oh, like I a bunch it. of pasta i love it no <sighs> So that that was my story. I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. I'm glad. Oh yeah, it was great. Do you know how long it's still gonna be there? I have no idea, but I've already told my girlfriend that we're going at least twice while this thing's. (laughs) You're gonna eat so much, you're gonna be sick of it. Yeah, and and if you ever see it it again, you're gonna vomit. Probably. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you got your little little uh, sunshine of the week. Yeah. (laughs) Oh hell yeah. Well, that's not your notes, Jared. That's Instagram. (laughs) Shut up. Snapchat. Snapchat. I know, it was just like all, a all, right, well, Here's some that just literally made me think about it. All, like, social media is, like, blending together now. They all look very similar to me. Yeah. Well, they all have, kind of have, like, the same setup of, like, pictures, and they all have, like, circles at the top mm-hmm. of stories. But, like, at least like, Instagram and Snapchat do. Yeah, but it was, like, you had, like, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and then they all had their own thing. Yeah. But now they're like, oh, well, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll pick that up. Like, uh, what is it like? Instagram having stories, YouTube having yeah. stories. Like, they're that just one all confuses me. Yeah, yeah. Do I... you get like random channels, like stuff you'd never watch, and like one of their stories is just on your timeline mm-hmm. randomly? You're like, what is this? And um, I follow IGN on Snapchat and YouTube, and their stories are identical on both. I never watch YouTube stories, but I always see them, and I can just recognize the picture. Yeah. But yeah, it's just all slowly blending together. I, I've i noticed I've stopped using Instagram. I haven't basically. touched Instagram since sophomore year, so what, yeah. two years. Well, I, I, I probably, only use Snapchat. I don't touch Twitter either unless one of y'all is like, hey, I sent you something, then I'll click it. Because I don't even get notifications on it. The only time I use Snapchat is for like, if someone sends me one. And, like, if I'm, like, sitting somewhere and I'm, like, I have 25 minutes to kill Mm -hmm. and I'm just, you know, making the rounds through the apps, I'll, Mm -hmm. like, check stories. Instagram, man, I never really... Again, it's, like, bottom of the barrel, Mm -hmm. I am bored and need to scroll. Uh, Twitter, I check pretty much every day. I just need to redo my Twitter because I have a bunch of people from, like, middle school and, like, early high school. And I think that's why I just don't touch Twitter because it's, like only things i don't care about yeah just go through and unfollow yeah. I, I did that a while ago yeah i need to do that it's like i can literally name like 10 people that make up my entire feed and i don't give a shit about them do you count reddit 
as social media? I know it's technically social media, but do you do you I box it in with don't box those? it in the same thing, but I guess you could. But it it's not really like here's what's going on in my life, like yeah, other social media. Yeah, because that's my problem with social media is I know it makes me sound like an asshole, but like any I don't ever post and like yeah. I as assholey as it is, like anyone that really posts certain types of things, I'm just like <sighs> yeah. No, I know. You exactly just want what attention. I just it, so like Reddit's not really like that. No, it's not at all. Reddit's more. I don't know, like it, interesting and not yeah. even entertaining. It's more of a like I don't even want to say learning because that sounds so like. I mean, that's how I learn up. about a lot of like news and shit. Yeah, it, it's it's a more of a news it's outlet. Like, than I have like social movies, media. video games, yeah. and then yeah, I yeah, have yeah. like my action figures and Dragon Ball and Gundam and stuff like. That's a really good way of putting it. It's more news. Yeah, and, and you stuff. can very much like pick yeah. what you want. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So recently, I've been looking for a new <clears throat> JRPG to play. Oh Jesus! Because I really love like just grind. When when I play a game, something I really enjoy with like uh, video games is when I can do like a mindless grind. Mm-hmm. Which is why I used to love playing like. Um, Black Ops 4 zombies just going grind. for the camos because I mean I could do that with half my brain mm-hmm. and there's some form of progression I think that's why I love like you're just like progressing that's why I love progressing that, <laughs> progress. progressing you gotta taste the soup I'm progressing mama I'm progressing I mama. swear um, that's why I think I love like the new Call of Duties for only like three months when they come out because you know you're you're like oh I'm getting headshots I'm getting all these camos, camos and achievements but and once stuff. I've done like all the guns I enjoy. I don't enjoy just playing Call of Duty like, okay, we won that game, let's go to the next game. Hell no. Once, like, that progression's gone, I stopped liking it. And that's why I was, like, so into the Zombies games, because they took so long. But still, you saw progress Mm -hmm. building up. And I also, like, back when I used to be really into the Pokemon games, I tried to get everything level 100. Yeah. I'd literally just sit there for hours clicking through battles and stuff. Yeah. But I've been trying to find a new game like that where I can just, like mindlessly right. click through stuff. I, I, I got uh, one of the Dragon Quests on DS. I'm trying that out. I but... really like Dragon Quest. I've never played it, never yeah. watched it, but I like the art, yeah, well, and yeah. I love the music. It's a Kira Toriyama. Of Hell course yeah. you love it. Hell yeah, because I love me some Dragon Ball. See, and like, you know, most JRPGs are like, you can level up your character, your your job, mm-hmm. your allies, I mean, blah, blah, blah. Have you watched the new Dragon Ball game? Kakarot? Yeah. Not really, It's no. grindy. Okay. I'll, I'll let you borrow it, man. I'll look into it's it. grindy. It, I, I didn't expect it to be as grindy as it is. The problem I'm finding with it, or with the every like game I find, is it's like you can't just click through them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have to like sit and think like, okay, I need to buff this character, then attack this character, mm-hmm. and I just because that's that's like where we're at now. Yeah. Video game wise, it's like they have to introduce a new gimmick, right? To stay fresh and like. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I enjoy that in a game. Mm-hmm. I like having to think. Like, that's why I love the Fire Emblem games, because yeah, you, you don't have, just click you, through those. You gotta be smart. It's very tactical, but, like, I'm looking for a game where I literally can just battle enemies mm-hmm. and get so strong to where, like, as dumb as it sounds, the game's not a challenge. Sometimes I enjoy that. Yeah. And I, I can't seem to find one right now. And I'd ask for recommendations, but I don't um, think. I know Logan loves these games called Valkyria Chronicles. Mm-hmm. They're very similar to Fire Emblem as far as I can tell, but it's more like, uh, it's not World War II, but it's like an alt, like kind of around yeah. that era, like tanks and stuff like that. I think I think I know the games you're talking you about. You would like it a lot. Okay. And it, I really like the animation because it's like done where it looks hand-drawn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's like 3D at the same time. And it's very similar to um, Fire Emblem, but it's more yeah. third person as well. But I think you should look into that. He would probably let you borrow him. I think he's beat three and four. I don't think he ever played one and two. I could be wrong. He'll probably correct me in the comments. All right, I'll look into it. Because I, I, I think since I've been searching, I've started like three separate games. And I found one, man, I thought it was going to be so much fun. It was called like... I don't know how to pronounce it. It's D I S G E A, I think. Disgay. Disgay or something. Disgay. Disgay <laughs> boy over here. Hey. But it was for uh, DS, and it's like you can get up to level 9,999, and then like prestige, you keep all your stats, and you can go all the way back up. You can do that like 10 times, and you can like level up all your weapons. And I was like, this is perfect. That's exactly yeah. what I want. But I hate the gameplay. Really? It's like, um... It's like Fire Emblem. You know, like, grid-based. Mm-hmm. But it's 
3D perspective. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's not like top down. You know yeah. what I mean? There's like mountains and cliffs you have to climb up, and, and it's just like the what's not the overlay, but the the HUD. The HUD. Yes, I I just don't like how the HUD is designed because you move your character and then it deselects them. Then you have to select them again and make them attack. Then you have to click execute to make them attack. Oh god. Yeah, and so I was like, I mean, it's it's fun and I'm enjoying the leveling up, but it's just not like. I don't feel like doing that for hours on it because mm. I'm having to sit there and think. Think about it. All I want is literally start, click A, mm. and go. This is not at all what you're like asking for, but do you remember the what is it, Clicker Hero or whatever? Yes, yeah, yeah. That, the Prestige made me think of that. Mm. God damn. Put way too much time in that game. I think I just like games like that because I love idle mm. games like that. Mm. I'll be playing a new one like every week. Yeah, yeah, I just I love to see like progression and I love being overpowered in a game. Oh, yeah. It's one of the. It's a great thing a game designer can do to like, not make you overpowered from the start. But mm-hmm. if you're willing to like put in the time, you can. Be. You can just feel like a god, basically. Mm-hmm. I, I absolutely love that in a game. But so it's my search is power. my search is still going. But well, good luck to you. Oh well. Speaking of JRPGs, we need to play Secret of Mana. Oh yes. There's like three of them. That's that that's a good game. That's kind of like where you can sit in battle for a while, mm-hmm. and then the boss is easier. Or you can fight the boss. Uh, you just have to be good at dodging. Kicks. Yeah. God damn. God, you remember the pineapple boss? Oh, that's like the first or second. Boss. Yeah, I know this is an entertaining. Well, the first but... time we played through it, because we've played it twice. And the first time we played through it, he was easy. I don't remember any trouble with yeah. him. And then the second time, we it, just got it was on. horrible. Yeah. And I remember at one point, I just left, and you sat there and finally beat it. Yeah. <clears throat> he was dunking on us. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's a good one. I was playing um, the uh, Game Boy Secret of Mana that was on that collection. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I it, didn't even look at the other two that were on the collection. It was, it was a lot like what I like. Like, you could sit and fight enemies, and you level up. My only problem with it was it suffers from, like, that classic game mm-hmm. trouble where it's like, what do I do? Yeah. Where do I go? What do I do? So I kind of had to, like... Look up stuff. Follow a walkthrough. At that through. point, yeah. you're not just mindlessly playing. Yeah. And see, it's not, like, Secret of Mana where, like, oh, we're in this dungeon. There's clearly the upgraded whip crystal here. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, now you have to go into this random cave off to the side. <laughs> uh, you have to, like, pickaxes are an equipable item that run out of uses. Oh, God. And it's like, if you hit a wall and it makes a special sound, you can use a pickaxe to get through it. And it's like, hey, you just go through this wall over here, and blah, 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 and now you have the upgraded crystal. Dear God. Yeah, but... It, I, I just don't understand how, like, these old games, people actually, like, beat them. It's all you had. Because uh. it, it, if you go back to, like, when the NES was out and mm-hmm. stuff, the Legend of Zelda and stuff, those were, like, $50, $60 games. Yeah. It's not like But you were expected to play it for yeah, months. Yeah, it was supposed to be your game for, like, a while. Yeah. But, I mean, Zelda's full of stuff like that, mm-hmm. where they just have, like, a cryptic hint that's like, the waterfall is cool. And then it's like, oh, I have to go and do this, move a specific rock near the waterfall. Jesus Christ. Or, like, there'll be a dungeon where there's no way to get to the boss unless you bomb a certain wall. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's Those games were just hard. I literally think they made them hard just to make them last long. Yeah. I mean, you look at speed runs of those games, and they'll be done in like an mm-hmm. hour or two. Because yeah, once you know what to do, it. you're you're cruising, you're fine. So it's like uh, Mega Man Two when we played through that. Like, I have no idea how someone could do that and yeah. not get reset and stuff. Yeah, because I mean, we Cause used, we cheated our ass off. We used save states the entire time. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I left one in literally. Episode I think four. I did on one of them too. Yeah, <laughs> just, just to mess with you. Let's see, when this comes out, it'll be episode 5 and 6 of Mega Man. Maybe something else. 5 and 6 Mega Man around this time will be yeah, coming out. Yeah, 5 should come out before, 6 should come out after. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, so that series is almost over yeah, on the I channel. think we hit 8 or 9. Mm-hmm. It's weird to think we have not recorded in almost 3 months. Because our last recording session was November. God damn. Yeah. And see, that's why I'm glad we're cha- we changed the channel up yeah. to be uploading more, because if we weren't doing this, that would literally go to, like, March or April. Oh, yeah. There'd be no point in recording, recording anything else. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm excited about starting to stream, too, because it's making content without being like, well, this video will come out in seven months. I gotta go edit this now. Yeah, we can literally just play the game to play the game, which we haven't really talked about streaming since we made that so i guess we need to set a date yeah and stuff yeah 
We'll decide that. Don't worry about it right now. There'll be a video up on the channel. Mm -hmm. Just like a 30 second thing. Like, hey guys, on blah, 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 we're going to yeah. be blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what day would be good. I don't know if you noticed. I haven't done a wee, wee, wee this episode. Wee, 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 wee. Oh, uh, wee, 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 uh, blah. Wee. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've noticed I say that a lot when I run out of stuff to say. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Or like when someone's like... When someone's talking that's to crazy, me. man. Yeah, mine's that's crazy manner. Jesus Christ. Jesus, man. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Wait. Oh, Grant scared the shit out of me today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, like, where Kennedy is, mm -hmm. and then there's, like, the big grass area, and yeah. then, like, where the art building is, there's the benches? Yes. I was sitting at one of those. I was playing Pokemon. With my back to the sidewalk, I don't know why. Yeah. Like, literally everyone can see me just sitting there playing Pokemon. And um, Grant just sits down right beside <laughs> me and just came from behind me. It scared the shit out. I was about to go, what the hell? I, I just figured it was some boy that saw me playing Pokemon and was going to be like, are you a good Pokemon around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanting to talk. And I was like, fuck, here we go. And I, then it was Grant, and I was like, hell yeah. I've had a lot of interactions like that in class, because I'll play sitting in the buildings, because buildings are, like, crazy, because all the phones nearby mm -hmm. and stuff. Every single time, it's, yeah, it's anything good nearby, or, man, I haven't played that since when it was popular. <laughs> I used to walk around all the time doing buttons, just like, yeah. yeah that's what I do. Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> um, I finally got to see a movie last week. You saw a I've movie? Been Super excited about. I'm not allowed to see movies. What was I know like? you really want to be able to see this one. It had a lot of bad words in it. Oh. Yeah. Um. I finally got to see 1917. Did it? Did it say H E double hockey stick? <sighs> probably. Oh. Yeah. No, probably. I can't see that. Yeah. They were like British, so you know they like to drop the the bloody the bloody H E double hockey <laughs> stick. <laughs> Harrison, stop! Stop! Mom's gonna come up here. Stop. She doesn't care when I talk about vaping, but if I cuss, oh my god. You cannot say H E double hockle hockey stick. Hockle stick. Hockle stick. Hockle stick sounds like a fucking Harry Potter house. Ten points to Hockle Stick. Hockle stick. But yeah, I finally saw 1917 and I loved it. It was so good. I don't know <laughs> anything else to go from there, but Would you recommend it? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Would you recommend it to everyone? See, I saw it with my girlfriend. Yes. And we get out, and she's like, it was good, but it's like, it's a war movie. I know, yeah. And I do know those aren't for everyone, but it, it was very different than any other war movie I've seen. And plus, like, um, the whole thing's filmed like it's one shot. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a sucker for that shit. Like, that's, that's, why, that's literally why I like John Wick so much <laughs> and the Daredevil show, is because all their fight scenes are, like, one take. Yeah. But that whole entire movie was, like, filmed where it was, like, one take. I saw something really funny on Twitter. It was, like, um, talking about Benedict Cumberbatch. That's, like, he's in the bunker where he's trying to get to the whole time. And they're, like, yeah. they had him stand out there for three months while they were filming <laughs> it. He just had to wait for the camera <laughs> to finally get there. God, it was good, man. Beautiful movie. Can you imagine if someone actually did film a movie at all, like, all in one take. Oh my god! I we we can't even film a one minute video yeah. in one take. No. Like how many times did it take us to film the we're coming I back? I don't know. My phone is full of yeah. Because like I takes. kept messing it up, and then like on the rare occasion I'd get it right, you'd yeah, fuck I mess it, it up. up. Yeah. No. Yeah, that'd be crazy if they actually filmed like a whole movie, like a full it'll action happen. movie. It'll happen. It's no way. Some. I mean, the budget for movies that are gonna go on insane. forever and ever. There's no way. I mean, maybe a short film. Yeah, I could see like a 20 minute film doing mm -hmm. that. I don't know if it could be an action film though. No, it'd have to be like a drama. Because imagine, imagine if someone missed their mark, <sighs> or like you, the main character threw a punch, but that actor was just like a little behind. Mm -hmm. And it would, like, just stand out really bad. And they just have to be like, all right, let's walk two miles and reset. Let's, let's redo it. <laughs> Back to the grind, boys. I could definitely see someone doing, like, an indie five-minute five film minute, yep. in one sh I'm sure there are already some out there. Oh, yeah, we're probably talking about it. And, like, at least one person listening to this is like, there is one! <laughs> um, actually? Um, actually, um, if you go and watch... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I thought of a funny story. I might have told this on the podcast. Already. I can tell you if you said it or not, but I don't know why I said that because I don't remember any of the podcast. I have so many stories I want to tell, and I can't remember if I've said them or not. Well, see, I know you've definitely heard this story before. Um, 
So we were talking about, you were like, oh, you can't say H-E double hockey stick. Uh, my parents are actually like that to a certain extent. Yeah. They're just religious. Yeah, yeah, it, which is fine. But they were, I, we were playing Xbox or something. At some, this was like senior year of high school, probably. Maybe even freshman year, summer after college. Jesus. And I Jesus just remember, Christ. I think I either said Jesus Christ or I said like, oh my God or something. And I just remember getting like a, Jared, can you come here really quick? <laughs> no, I can't, Pauls. Yeah, oh my God, that argument will never work. <laughs> but I walked, so I had to go down there and they were just like, don't take the Lord's name in vain, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'm sorry. It's hard, man. It's funny how everyone has, like... It's just so built into, like... I don't even realize Yeah, that. my vocabulary at this point is just, like, full of fuck shit piss and I know. Stuff. I can't talk without cussing. Like, um, I was home this weekend, like, all weekend, and I kept doing it. Yeah. yeah. Like, luckily it was, like... Because, like, my mom doesn't really care that much, but my dad... And my dad's not religious at all. It's just, like, my dad doesn't really cuss. Yeah. Unless he's playing his Destiny game. My dad loves Destiny 2, and that is the only time you'll ever hear him cuss. How many hours would you say he has? Oh, God. I don't want to know. I bet I can find it. I, sh- I need to go try to find it. I guarantee it's probably a 1,000. Oh, it's up there. It, it's and then if you combine the first one oh, with it... Man. Oh, man. <laughs> I wonder if he has spent an entire year worth of days playing. Probably. Probably. Because he'll, he'll play late. He'll play, like, almost every day. Because, like, usually he'll wait till mom goes to bed. Yeah. He'll usually stay in the living room and watch TV with her. And then when she goes to bed, she has to go to bed early because she gets up at, like, 4.30. Yeah. So as soon as she goes to bed... He's right on. On the grind. Because, like, he plays with these guys in, like, Texas and stuff. So, yeah. like, he has to play at night. Because they're, they're not awake yeah. during the day. Right. So. Yeah, Texas is... 12 hour difference you know? I, I don't know the time difference he just plays with people all over the country I and think, like I know they always all play at night because yeah. that's when they're most of their schedules when their up. moms let them play yeah it's like that's when they get home from work or yeah. whatever yeah makes sense but I, I was gonna say an interesting topic is how like you have different personalities depending on who you're with like around you guys I'll cuss like a sailor mm-hmm. but then if I'm home I don't curse at all yeah but it's the same way with, like, if I'm friends with people in, like, a class or something. Not saying, like, I'll change my personality to, like, be cool or anything. But, you know, you just act a different act, way. Act different. And then if the groups ever mix, it's just, like, terrifying to, like, <laughs> oh, God, which way are going to find out? They're yeah. going to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so every time I'm home, I kind of have to change my vocabulary and stuff. And not laugh at certain things I'd laugh at with you guys. Which yeah. I struggle with that really bad. Being in oh, like public and laughing yeah. at something and then mm-hmm. being like, oh, shouldn't have laughed at that. Oh, yeah. Me and you had a run in that with that. I won't say what it was, but we were with your friend at lunch the other day. Yes. And he said something. And it wasn't even bad. Yeah. But it just sounded bad. If you knew the context, yes. it sounds bad. Yes. It, it just... But... <sighs> uh, it, something else happened. This one we can tell is... What was it that he said? Not dominated, but... Oh, no. I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember it. He said something, and I thought he said it, dominated. He said something, and it sounded like he was saying, I dominated him. Mm-hmm. And Harrison's like, you've dominated him. <laughs> and it, this guy just flew right over his head, mm-hmm. and he's like, no, I said this. Like, straight face. And, like, me and Harrison are laughing, and he's yeah. just like... I don't get it. <laughs> That's not what I said. What, what, what's, what's the hold up? Well, so funny here, fellas. Yeah, the, the certain... You, I feel like you have to be around our group mm. to kind of. That does like th- that can work for my benefit though sometimes because like you act different towards other people but like when I'm with like you and Austin yeah. that's like real me yeah I guess so like when y'all are around these other people I feel more comfortable yeah yeah yeah, yeah. to like actually be my real self instead right. of that like fake right like, school friendly yeah, yeah oh I fall into that hole a lot sitting in class taking just the role of like the college student college, being like just, complaining yeah. basically just being like why are we taking role in this class and we're like yeah man blah 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 and i'm like i i, I don't talking. give a shit about why am i role? talking to this guy <laughs> yeah, like shut up they just like to complain well any final words for the episode harrison Mm-mm. no you'll never get them out of me <laughs> that's so much work just, just breathe in through your nose i don't know that's just how i do it we should end the podcast <laughs> no Okay. No. I don't care. No, you want to keep talking, big man? (sighs) What are we at? 
What do you want to What do you want to talk about, big man? Um, let's talk about taint hair length. Okay, so here's mine. Okay. So I'm rocking like a good six incher. Why is that one red? <laughs> I colored it. The rest of them are. <laughs> I colored this one to keep it separate. Can I play it like a guitar? <laughs> I just like go in the what's a good like guitar riff oh here's a good song I'm gonna start playing it right now thank you everybody for listening as I play us out damn do you practice yeah holy shit woo